let's start this session with you telling me what you're experiencing, Richard. Ever since the tragic death of my wife, things haven't been the same. Sometimes I still feel her presence in these halls. It's like she's not really gone. I see. The mind often does not accept the loss of a loved one until the soul has had its time to heal. May I ask you how she died? She was rarely happy in the end. Something was troubling her. She wanted a family. Wanted a child. But we couldn't take that step. I didn't have the time. She took her own life after an argument we had. reason to feel guilt in some way. No. I was always reasonable during our arguments, and stayed calm the entire time. I understand. How often do you see your wife? I can see her now. She's standing right behind you. Really? Is she looking at us? She's looking straight at you, David. Alright then, I think we're done for today. I was wondering if I could have your permission to enter the archives. I haven't explored much of the castle, and I was particularly interested in looking through some old documents about this great citadel, as I haven't found a whole lot of information about it in the library. I'm afraid the archives are off limits for at least a month. One of the visitors was murdered in the study area by an uninvited man. His psychotic behavior ever since has been worrying, but have no worries. I can assure you that the criminal has been dealt with. I see. But can you not make an exception? Even if I wanted to, it would be impossible at this point. The archives are filled with workers as it's currently under renovation. 
It's the largest victim of the unusual storms that have been disassembling these walls ever since the death of my... I advise you go back to your quarters and rest, David. I'm sure this session was just as demanding for you as it was for me.